I can hear you just fine. And now we kick it over to the main. Good evening and welcome to the Sunday Scaries. Uh, we are back playing Night in the Woods and we are back with Hannah Pengu and Sophie Kicks. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's pick Hello. up where we left off. The stream is displaying slightly differently than previously because I got sick of not being able to see the time. So, <laughs> but that will only make a difference when you're actually watching the stream. Anyway, now we're gonna go hang out with B for the last official hangout time. This is gonna be an interesting one. All right. Oof. What are you up to today? I assume this time we're doing whatever you want to do. Mm hmm Proximity. So, what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie. Yeah, she's intense. She's serious about serious stuff. She's a lot of fun otherwise. Didn't Jackie have, like, a one-woman band? Yeah. Trans World Order Give Them Hell. T-W-O-G-S-T-H? Twogth? Twogth. Twogth. I don't know. Yeah, it's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. Twogth. Hey, B, say it. Say twogth. 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 Anyway. This is a party. And Jackie invited me. Look at you! All going to secret parties and shit. They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are now invited. By vampire rules, you are now okay. Woohoo! Most important rules. Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. I think I went here once. In Girl Scout. To see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Which question do you want to ask? Oh man, do we want to have the personal questions or the generic questions? I mean, I know which answer you as a human want to ask. <laughs> I mean, yes, that's the thing, is what even was that play? Corvin the Thief. Old, kind of obscure. Slick little barn cat. Lived in the woods. Where no one could find him. But then he stole a diamond or something from the local king and got arrow to death. Oh, that's a that's a constellation in the longest night game. Oh yeah, right. Yep. There's a whole second part where he's a ghost, but they never perform that one. We're ghost cat. All right, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, all right? Nothing to be scared of down here. Just a party. 
Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Maid. Jackie! Maid, your anxiety is... Hey, B. Hey, B. Oh, sorry. Okay, good. Uh, fair enough. I'm trying to figure out who that is there. If that's Jackie, then uh, up for grabs. Anybody who wants to voice it can. Um. Oh, weird. It's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in, it's a good one. Is there, like, dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. Remember in 2017 when we thought the world was ending? Oh, God. Those halcyon days. Are we sure that it didn't? <laughs> That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. One of the uh, one of the the really good image caps from this game, I will say. <laughs> right. You don't top this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists! Huh. Hey! Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, Ray. Okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah. Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? Oh yeah, dance minigame. <laughs> it's just like, press Y to dance, but it's still fun. Actually, wait, hang on. I like this. I like this progression here between this to this to this. Oop, there we go. Yeah. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. We can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Well, okay, we'll be like 10 feet away. With an eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously. If any... B, I'll be fine. Let's go! She'll be fine! Okay, okay, okay. I do think that B is very, very legitimate in worrying about May after the last party just a few days ago. True. Mm -hmm. Well, no, at this point it's a couple weeks ago, but yeah. Okay, just a couple weeks ago. I don't know what the progression of 
Hey. But May left an impression after that party. Yeah. She's so cute. Yeah, that was supposed to be like late September, and we're now in like November. So. Oh, fair. But still, very recent party where yes. May got bad, sloppy drunk. It's true. Dancing is easy. That's the big fuss. Uh. Hmm. Who's hey the, you. I mean, like, if you want, you can do it. <laughs> I'll, you can do it. I'll do this one. Hey you. Hey you. Do I know you? No. What's your name? I'm Does tempted to give the fake name, but nah. May Borowski. Borowski. Nice. Sounds so tough. I'm extremely tough. I'll wrestle anyone. Wow. So what's your story, May Borowski? I... I... I mean, May does honestly play bass, but that like, part is true. Kind of, but this one is the I, accurate one. <laughs> yeah, college dropout, a ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. I had these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams, where I was running around jumbled bits of like history or something. Like it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain. And yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it, like, kidnapped someone on Halloween. I'm sure I didn't imagine that. And my friends don't completely buy it. And I have this thing going on in my head. And I dropped out of college, and I don't even want to get into that. And all I wanted to do was come home and for things to be normal. And that's not really working out. And I found out tonight that I could dance, and then I saw you. Okay, I feel a little bad for trauma dumping. Then again, I do think May mm -hmm. is the sort who would have just... Yeah. ...word vomited this. Yep. I've never just listed all of that out, but all of that out at once before. Wow. I stole your life story. <laughs> I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh, all right. Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. <laughs> Your words. Wow. Okay. Okay. I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. That's a good idea. Burowski. Haha. <laughs> it's a good name. Sounds tough. Mm, okay. Need to tell friend. Location. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow. Okay. Be right back. Second pentagram unlocked. <gasps> oh. Gasp. Psst. Psst. Oh wait, that was. Uh, you can do that oh. one. Fine. Go for it. Hey there. The wise kitten focuses not on that which is lost but on all that remains. Okay, wow. You just hanging out in the back of the party, dishing out wisdom? All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good one. <laughs> Way to drop the theme of the game on us, random stranger at a party. <laughs> 
that just so off in the way. Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Aw, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like Memento Mori and shit. I'm gonna go with, what's that? I did love Sick Transit Gloria, nerd. <laughs> Remember, you are gonna die. Jeez. Does anyone need help with that? <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Ah, uh, well, a book you liked. I liked ghost stories. My granddad died and left me an apple crate full. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead too. May. Okay, May, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, May? May? Stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring. When my house exploded. Holy shit, dude! What? Because what? there was a gas leak. From when my dad hit a line. Call 811 before you dig! <laughs> Trying to dig up the dog we had before that. Oh, good lord! What? Because we were gonna move. Dad said he had to come with us. That's, That's really sad. That is real sad, but also call 811 before you dig. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. So, Chris, w what are you majoring in? Poli sci. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Editors note that was not, in fact, cool. <laughs> Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, well, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. Hey, now! Okay, I want to have this. Is that is an incredibly privileged statement right there. I was about to say, I will not have you denigrate every business major in the world like that. There were two of us. <laughs> there were two good business majors, and I'm one of them. Uh, also, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, like, I, that is something that only someone who is financially comfortable, whose family is financially comfortable, yeah. can say. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting because. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Thank you, May. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. B, B, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Oh, cool. Sorry, that was just my noise yeah. of instant revulsion. <laughs> yep. Yeah, B May is doing you a favor, B. Yeah. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? Please dance. Sure. <laughs> I think May is excited about dancing. You should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Fuck that guy. Oh, go. Ooh. Tell me about it. I know about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. Eh. Excuse you, Chaz. Do you... Do you actually need to get free pizza? Sorry. Um, anyway. Um, 
onto what May actually says. <laughs> B doesn't like rich, spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, well, let's go. Okay. Welcome, welcome to the bad, the no good choice round. Oh dear. Uh, let's go with this one because it feels slightly safer. B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. <laughs> May, no. What even is Possum Springs? You're from Bright Harbor. You would know what Possum Springs is. Anyway, yeah, like a 90 minute drive away. I know most small towns a 90 minute drive away. Well, they're not. They're not in Bright Harbor right now. But anyway, it's west in the mountains. While rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, bees out in the real world. Not like you college kids. No. What? <laughs> oh, God. Over the whole college thing myself. Sure you are, man. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Okay, May. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah. Got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? Okay, so Bright Harbor is closer to this than that. Okay, gotcha. No, I, uh... Why would you do that? This guy. Hey, Rick. B here drove in from Deep Hollow. Uh... Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm, uh... uh... Oh, poor B. B, wait! What was that about? I, I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm done with you, Chaz. That is not something May is saying, that's something I'm saying. I mean, it's basically something May said. That's Jackie. Yep. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing! How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, gee. All right, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We'll find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay, oh God, okay. Or actually maybe that was, okay, oh God. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. It's a bad read on the situation, Jackie. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like, I do think that May didn't handle that as well as she could have, but I, I am not mad at her for calling out Chaz. There is, there is a difference between being a dumbass and being an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where are you, V? The roofs. You can get to the river quick on the roofs. Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You're not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza, pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? 
Want to find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car. And I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt, physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Whatever, jerks. All right. I kind of get the vibe that May is also not okay right now. Well, she's worried about her friend. I'm she's not going to let a bunch of goth dorks get in the way of that. And, and she's been... She hasn't been sleeping the best lately, so yeah. she's already yeah. operating on. And, and a ghost like, is chasing her. Weird. And, like, you know. Like, I do not think May made a wrong call in calling out... Mr. Asshole Rich Kid. Um, I think the wrong call she made was that she pulled B into it, and it really embarrassed B. Well, she yeah. and B also didn't explain the game that she was running, which would have well, been helpful. Well, yes, that's true. And May is probably a bit neurodivergent and the type to take things literally, and just did not comprehend what B was doing by lying. Yep. Also, B, you can do so much better than those douchebags. Very true. Like, I definitely get Hey, is this looking of... familiar? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. How did... How did... How Cats. Did they, I mean, Cats. Cat, yeah. B! There you are. Are you alright? Why did you run? That's, like, extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town, and you don't even know who- This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. This is normal? This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. Mm. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is this is so friggin' sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky as I fall asleep. I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. Ugh. Oh god, both of those are bad. Mm -hmm. I, I, someone help me out here. <laughs> I don't like either of these. Um. I mean, like, I feel like that's so sad is slightly less mean. Yeah. That is so sad. Goddamn right it's sad. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills for my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in. Gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away and like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker. Every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight and you can't get that through your thick effing skull I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? 
I work hard and I take care of what's left of my family. My life is slipping away and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store in that stupid town. I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here. You know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I... I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that. A little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah. First day you were back. Oh. I don't know if that's strictly true. I think you. I think she just assumed why and said as much, and then May didn't correct her. But anyway. Right. So why did you leave? I. I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God! He was an asshole! Uh-huh. Oh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Uh. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry. About, like... It's okay. We're like the best available friends. <laughs> oh god. What river is this? Redwinder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just, what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together. Again. This crazy old basement. We call life, Beatrice. Thanks, May. That's uplifting. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I'll learn to talk good to whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. You picked up on that much, did you, May? Good job. Oh, good. Thanks. Be 
you should have told me about everything. Okay, some of it she has told you about multiple times, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm interpreting that, and the reason I chose her to have May say the, you didn't tell mm -hmm. me about any of this, even though obviously mm -hmm. B has told her a lot about things going on in her life, is because I think I was reading that as what May actually means is that B didn't tell her what this party meant yeah, to her. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What the game and, plan was, you know. And what this meant, what, like, how she approached it, and so May just didn't know, and May mm -hmm. fucked up. Yep. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am, like, more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are, like, stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes. I know that. But you're generally a good... good person. I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene Fish Fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh, wow. A revelation from God. Not that one. Yeah, there we go. The good God. The fake one. Crap. I didn't get her info. Who? Oh. This super cute girl I met at the party? We did a secret handshake? Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay. You? Let's go home. Home again? Home again. Jiggity jig? No? Okay. Duh. I like that. Stuck together, don't suck together. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. You okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're going to have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where to even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams. And I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares. That feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse. I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I, I was about to say, well, technically, maybe you could get a job, but actually, I really sympathize with this next bit. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. And how am I ever going to survive? And, and, and... Shh, kid. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like.
I have to remember which voice is which. I'm going to mix it up. My boy, Garbo. Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. Why, Garbo? You think there's up there someone, uh, uh, you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. Ah, 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 ah. You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy. But it would be... <gasps> a whopper! Okay, that was cute and somewhat topical. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Go up the stairs, please. There we go. Hey, you. Hey, May. I am so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like, really? That's like, really nice, May. That you did that. Aw, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think of worse fates. Duh. Oh. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. All right, I'm off to bed. Laters. <laughs> No dreams. Yeah, not this time. Mm. Once you've met God, it's kind of the most climactic one. I mean, I suppose that's fair. Wait, who is Cookie? No, uh, that's Alice. Well, I'll, I'll explain in a oh, second. Oh, right. Pickaxe. Edit. Me. You know the drill. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Oh dear. Alright. Yeah, no, it's an asteroid, not a cookie. Although it does look like a cookie. I always thought it was a cookie. Angus is away, message says, come pick your fight, give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see the blank tones next week. Nice. Aww. Ah, the days of song lyric away messages. It was a magical time. Mm -hmm. See also our Emily is away stream that we did that one time. That's true.
Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. I mean, you say that, May, but, like, sleeping more, feeling worse is often a first sign of depression. It's very much not fine, hun. Listen to your mom. <laughs> I'm an adult. I can make that decision. I'm an adult. <laughs> I threw it on the ground. All right, there we go. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems. And the house. And I'm just so sorry. You... We... Wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, please... please. please May, it's okay, me. really! We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. Oh, you. Oh, that was you. Yeah, that was that was unclear. The, there was no balloon direction yeah, okay. for that. But yeah. So I guess May said, yeah. "Whatever happens, I love you, and I need you to know that." Mm-hmm. You too. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, got stuff to do. Crimes. What is it you have to do? Crimes. I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. I keep the really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can like give you half of one. Only half? Honey, you're, you know. Sure. Half would be fine. It's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be of any help. I do appreciate Mom. Thanks, Mom. I do appreciate Mom offering the good headache meds. Yep. Just a little. But yeah, given May's constitution, half is probably more than sufficient. And I mean, May is small. Indeed. Uh, oh, yeah, so in between streams, I did go and get the rabies achievement. I think there's a, uh, there's a... There we go. I got that little drawing. Yay. Which is just, you hang out on the bridge, and then rabies shows up again. And May is like, rabies, you're awesome. And, like, that's it. Aww. Hey, it's Aunt Mall Cop. Oh, God. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well? I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. And medium build. And he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. I think that's actually sweet. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. 
ghosts? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. I'd almost thought that it might have been a prop arm from Lori, but I guess not. Nope, it's a real ass arm. Hey, Summers. Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah. Just tired. Got a headache. What are you out running? Why are you out running around? I'm gonna get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Always. Sure. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true. They are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh? Longest night, longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. Have you noticed anything like weird around here lately? Weird as in... Ghost man. A ghost man? Yeah. Not that I recall. I think I'm going crazy. I think maybe I'm seeing things? My mom sees ghosts. I swear if there's one in the basement. But she's wrong. How do you know? I live in the basement. Are you a ghost? <laughs> not yet. Forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. This is just making me sad about the real life. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, no snow soon for us, but yeah. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. There freaking better not be snow coming up. It is June. Yep. Was Mr. Was anyone on the roof or not? We're about to find out. Hang on. It's a process getting up there. You see. True. Mr. Chazikov is not up there today. That will be a later day. But I, I think we have like one more. But not a latter day. Ah, that's good. Kind of pulled that from Book of Mormon. It's still good. I thought you were making a play on, on ladders, so, you know. Oh, yeah, no, no. Because there's no ladder to get up there. All right, let's see if today is the day we go on an adventure with Mom. See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, jeez. I'm petting not. God's patient, hon. Like nature. That is such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on. So just ignore me. Okay, hun. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. What is it? I don't know. Purposefully committing this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo. <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. 
Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got yours too. Love you, sweetie. You too, mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. It doesn't get a lot of use these days. But it's still nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I might do that. Door back there's unlocked now, so have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, Mom. No problem, sweetie. Oh, dang. I don't remember this part at all. That does feel like a great napping couch. Right? Right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I definitely have napped on my own couch in little spots of sunshine. I was about to say, imagine being a cat and being there. Hey, yep. ghost. Mm hmm. That's Grandpa. Oh. Oh, it's a grandpa ghost. Oh, this is so cute, and I don't want to interrupt it. Hmm. Slightly creepy cute, but cute. Very no, sweet. it's a it's a nice ghost. Well, Aww. I just mean in in terms of like, there being a ghost is a is always sure. gonna be a little spooky. But it's sweet that Granddad Ghost has come to like watch over her. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You could screenshot it. That's a good point. There we go. Not quite taking a brain photo, but close. Oh, we may not get to do the thing where you take your mom and... and go out and play hooky and stuff. We might have missed that day, unfortunately. That's too bad. It also seems like things go differently in different playthroughs. Like, we've also come across a couple things that you never did. Well, there's, so. yeah, it, there's, it's easy to find stuff that you missed in other times. That's certainly true. Yeah, no, nothing right now. Also, because the first the first two times I played this game all the way through were like right when it came out, uh, and they kind of informed any later time that I played it through. And if they added anything in between, I wouldn't have known about it. We got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Palm Springs. Possum Springs. Possum yes. Springs. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Wonder where Bruce has got to. Beats me. He's kind of transient, though, right? I mean, he wasn't like renting the woods. No, no, he wasn't. God damn this world. And we end the conversation on that. Jeez. Like she's having a rough time. Yep. Well, you know, she was worried about Bruce and fighting really hard against the city council to make sure that they can house unhoused people there. And he left before she succeeded. Yep. But hopefully, it's because he's going to go find his family. And hopefully, it's not because the ghost got him. Wait. 
Because as we've now learned, he kind of fits the profile for the last arm, right? Oh no. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> Does anyone complain? About what? You playing? I don't think anyone cares, honestly. Or they like it. I'm fine either way. You okay? Yeah. I'm like only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine and some crackers and ginger ale oh. and lay in bed and watch bad movies. That's very sweet. Thanks for the advice, Doc. Don't mention it. That'll be $700. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. May, you okay? Mm -hmm. May! Ugh, sorry. Spaced out there for a sec. You should, like, see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Dang. Uh... No problem. I'll probably see you later. Probably? Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. Oh, she's obviously oh. worried about May, and that's very sweet. I was about to say, oh. May, you're at the point where, like, random neighborhood kid is worried about you. Perhaps you should consider seeing a doctor. I mean, to be fair, they have clearly become friends. No, like, I they know. have hung out multiple times. I'm just saying, like, a person who would not normally be invested in your in your physical well-being is invested in your physical well-being. Maybe more accurate to say would not normally notice. Well, that's it. Let's see, is this the day where we have the chance to go with Angus on adventures? So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna hold off for now. Okay. No. Because that's going to kick it off, so give me All just right. a minute. No, right, not right now. I still miss possibilities. Indeed. Hang on. Who yet? It's you, good. I'm actually 20. I'm 38. You're a kid. Hey! Okay. How'd you find this place? I mean, I knew this was up here since I was a kid. But only got up the nerve to break in recently. Why is that? Eh, not getting any younger. This place could fall in any day. You get to a point in life where the number of first evers gets lower and the number of never agains gets higher. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> I don't know. I know what you mean. No, you don't. 
I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself and playing music. Small world. I told him about you. Playing over here. By your lonesome. Oh, okay. Maybe you could play together? Do you know anything about this guy? He's not a murderer. I don't think he's a murderer. Okay, well, thanks. We've done the important work. Alright, now we go check on Germ. Hey, May. Told me what's up. Other than the obvious. You seem... something, too. Do I look any different? To me, you do. Thanks for your attention. You wanna come? Got a trampoline. Sure. Alright, let's go. really weird. Why? I like... I never pictured you coming from somewhere. Thought you just like appeared one day in a parking lot. Oh. Sorry, that was weird. That's cool. A lot of folks from town never come up, uh, come back up here. Got a lot of cars. My uncles are uh, here a lot. They fix cars with my dad. Do you drive? I bike. Better for the environment. I just keep finding things out about you. Well, we're all gonna die from temperatures and water. Is this, uh, your tire? Nah, it's for my sisters and my cousins. You have sisters? Yeah, they're out of church stuff right now. That's why I invited you over. It's like adults night here. Adults night? One night a week. No kids. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you should meet my mom. Should I? It's polite since you're eating dinner here. I was kidding. I couldn't tell. You okay? I'm nervous. Why? Come on. Hey, Mom. This is May. She's eating dinner with us. Uh, hi. Hello, May. I hope you like Sloppy Joe's. I'm trying to find her voice. That's yeah, fine. Her best voice. She's very, very small. Very small character. <laughs> so. Nobody in this house. I thought you two should meet before dinner. That's very thoughtful, Jeremy. <laughs> yes. I'm going to introduce May to Grandma. Oh, is that what this is about? What? Can I? You don't need my permission. Whatever happens is on you. What? Come on. Nice meeting you. You too, May. Whatever happens is on you is quite ominous. Oh, here she is. Dirty girl. My granddad said that. Did you? This is Grandma. Hello. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll see ya. 
Wait, what? You're looking at me. Sturdy is a good word for you. Big bones. Stout. So, is that it? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I upset you? No. Too bad. You need to be upset. What? What's coming to you, little girl? It's three times the trouble you deserve. And you are going to go down hard. Not far from here. You will go down. In these woods. Are you, like, telling my fortune? Little girl, I don't know what you did. You've got a dark spot in you. That one day is gonna take a life. Might be someone else's. Or it might be yours. Mark my words. You're doomed. Okay, I'll, uh, try to remember that. Or, actually, no. This is stupid. You don't know me. Whatever it is that's wrong with me... Yeah, I'm not just an effing shell. For my problems to walk around in. Good line. Uh, uh, you got a dark spot on you. What the actual hell do you know about me, anyway? I can't stop what's coming. But ask you a question you can't answer? Can you unhaunt a haunted house? I... I... What? I think that was in the beginning of the game. Hang on. It's been a while since the beginning yeah. of the game. <laughs> How'd you go in there for a second? What? I'm just Josh and yeah. I have my fun. What is wrong with you? I'm seriously messed up. <laughs> You're a good sport. You go outside now, dear. Let Grandma watch Judge Janice. Okay, uh, see you around. Not likely. Little girl. That was weird. Yes, it was. Don't tell me what Grandma said. Why? When Grandma tells you something for you, it's yours, and if you give it away, it's gone. What does that mean? Watch this. Boing. Holy crap! Come on. Oh, yeah. We triple jump over there. Oh, that was a familiar face. What? I've seen you a whole bunch. I'm. Oh, oh. That's oh, a wrong person. Oh, that's one of the uncles. Yeah, or maybe the uncle. Yeah. You don't see us, but we see you. Oh yeah, hi! Thanks for, uh, fixing our street. Yep, yep. We're not nothing. Uh, yeah! Uh, I, 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 yeah, I guess this is another one of the uncles, yeah. Yeah, he's been doing the easy work. My crew's been out climbing all over those- Oh, sorry, those bridges and stuff like that. Uh, Oh, they open yet? Hell no! That'll be the day. You're Stan Borowski's kid, right? Yeah? We used to see him down at Miller's a bunch. Probably good we see him less now. Yeah. He didn't mean nothing by it. It's cool. And back when, your dad was something else. 
He's up at the Hand Panther now, right? Yep. Uh, they're pretty anti-union, huh? Yeah, he's mentioned that. Um. Yep, yep. Organize. Your dad's alright, kid. Okay. Yeah, he's good. How do you know my dad? I don't. I just felt left out of the conversation. Oh, buddy. Alright, you can tell him Hand Panther Management can go straight to hell. Okay, that's, uh, weird. Ain't nothing weird about it. Jeremy, we going out to Hunnick this weekend? Yeah. What's in Hunwick? Oh, computer show. Oh, computer show! Gonna look for an old Compton 80. Play some Wanderers of Clorrigan. Bunch of dweebs over here. Yep, yep. Okay, well, if I bounce anymore, I'm gonna pee. No need to keep bouncing. I'm not gonna be lonely. Alright. <laughs> Look at how much fun Germ is having. It's true. Man, I did not remember that conversation with Grandma, but it's going to be interesting to keep it in mind at the end of the game. Oh, guess we're not done yet. Gotta have dinner. Oh, yeah. I just assumed that was part of the, uh, the cut that we had between interior and exterior. Maybe go past the trampoline? So, like, why? Dinner. Dinner. Yeah. Hold that thought. Ah, here you go. That was really good. Why'd you like Sloppy Joe's? Who doesn't? What were you going to say before dinner? Oh, yeah. Weird to ask, but... Why did you invite me up here? I don't think even Greg's been up here. Nah. Greg's cool, but like, Greg's got things pretty much figured out. Yeah, Greg's the best. Like, it seems like you've been having a hard time lately. And I thought you'd like to just, like, chill out for a bit. Everybody else is like, going somewhere. Or wishes they were. But you're just like, not. I don't know. Yeah. Thanks for dinner. Thank my mom. No, just... Thanks. I... I've had a really long fall. I know. Glad you like Sloppy Joe's. <laughs> this was very sweet. Who doesn't? Jim's a good guy. Gotta go now. Bye. That's so sweet. You seemed like you'd been having a hard time, so I mm -hmm. thought I'd invite you over to have a chill dinner with my chill family. Yep. I think uh, this is where you would get the achievement that says he's from somewhere. Uh, but I have gotten almost all of the achievements in this game. Gonna go for 100%ing? It's complicated on how to do that. <laughs> it requires a lot of playthroughs. With, like, doing specific things each time. Well, that's it. Shipping out tomorrow. Can't believe you actually landed the new job. Yep, moving on to better things. Kids excited? Oh yeah, they'll love it. Might take a while, though. Eh. Well, yep. Yep. Maybe just one more, huh? Yeah, one more. Go Smelters! Yep. Oh, 
Oh, look at those guys. All right. So, we have two more missions we can do. One with Greg and one with Angus. And we have about half an hour before seven. Yes, yeah, so we're going to start one of them. We won't be able to finish it. So, the question is, which one do we want to do? And I'm just going to double check and make sure there's not anything else going down here in the tunnel. Because one time I missed something. And it was very interesting. So. Just crawl it. Will Tunnelfish be always there? Will Tunnel Drain Canal be bare? I would miss the Tunnelfish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. Oh, Fisherman Jones. All right. So I think for most, like, for best continuity, it would probably be better to do the Greg one and then the Angus one. But it is kind okay. of a toss-up, so. If anybody's well, got strong feelings, then. I feel like we haven't really chatted with Greg in a while. That's true. Okay, I'm going to say when Angus was like, you up for the thing? And they was like, yeah, but not right now. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, man. Hey. How you holding up? Got a splitting headache. Feel like I barely slept. Even though I've slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Wake me up somehow. Hey! Whoa. Wake up! Okay, yeah, I'm awake now. So what are you up to today? You want to check out that historical society? You sure? You seem, like, really tired. Yeah, let's do this. The historical society. Sorry we crashed. It's okay. I'm getting used to it. Is your bike okay? Yeah, I can fix it. I'm handy. It's too bad you didn't get run over. Meh. It's too bad you didn't crash into a train. It's too bad your corpse didn't get eaten by scavengers. It's too bad you didn't get eaten by scavengers alive. Meh. So that's it, huh? Yep. Never been out here before. Me neither. Oh, uh, I thought you had a plan. Who needs a plan? We're just breaking into an old house. Crimes. Yeah. It looks kind of, uh... Exactly like a haunted house. Yeah. Like the one on the cover of that book. Haunting of Arbor Street. We have an Arbor Street. Yeah. Book. Boop. Book. Book. Spooked me. Spooked me. <laughs> Pretty good as a kid. Book. Spooked. Yes, quite. Sorry. Big evil house. This place looks exactly like it. Well, you're looking for a ghost, right? I think it might be looking for me, actually. Oh yeah, the other night. Yeah. Well, whoever this is, maybe we'll get some info here. It's not like a person, dude. It's a ghost. Uh, right. Well, let's go find us a ghost. Oh, right, this is the stealth portion. Greg? Hey, where are you? Over here. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Found the basement doors. What? I have no idea what that noise is. Stop yelling. Why are you talking like that? If you say s instead of s, it's harder for someone, for example, a ghost, to hear that you're speaking. I have no idea what you're saying here. Okay, we're trying to be stealthy, right? Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Thank you. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. We're fine, nobody's here. No lights on, doors are locked. So, how are we doing this? You're gonna hold up the flashlight while I pick this lock. Nice. You can pick locks. I totally forgot. Yeah, dude. This is kind of awesome. It sure is. Crimes, dude. Crimes. Dude. Hey, you want to shine that light down here? Cool, thanks. Okay. So now I'm in control of the flashlights. Oh, gee, what was that? Nothing. Uh-huh. Hey, more light, please. WTF? Okay, there's something up there. Told you. All right, let's finish this. Also, watch my back. Basically, do both. I, I'm like, I'm like, I've trained for this <laughs> on the junk uh, barge. Hey, you up there? <laughs> that was a little bit scary. Friggin' owl! Are you okay? I think so. That was dangerous. I didn't know owls attacked like that. What was his effing deal? So we're in the basement. What are we actually looking for, by the way? The thing I read said that sometimes when someone stays late, they hear weird things in something called the map room. And in some off-limits area? Technically, all of this is an off-limits area right now. True, dude. True. Dude, is that like two elevators? And not like old ones. Locked, too. Jeez, maybe this place is all elevators. Weird, why would you have two? One for the ghosts, one for the normies. Private rooftop ghost party. With a ghost pool. Hope, I hope you get squished by the elevator. I hope your head gets stuck in the door and gets chopped off. Hope you fall down an elevator shaft. Their friendship is weird. Mm -hmm. I hope you get trapped in a dark elevator filled with water and an angry shark. Holy crap, dude, that's... <laughs> okay. Here we go. Looks pretty empty. And dark. Hey, where's the flashlight? I've left it outside. Dude. Why? You were being attacked by an owl. All right, well, I can see, okay. 
We need to. Let's look around. Oh, check it out. Elevator number three. Looks like it's not locked either. Elevators for miles, dude. Yeah, this is weird. Closed for insurance purposes. Caution, stairs not for climbing. These stairs are original to the house and are not functional at this time. What the hell are non-functioning stairs? Stairs you shouldn't climb because mm -hmm. you can fall through them well, to right. your death. Yes. Sorry, that was an out of character comment. Yes. So, are we just supposed to, like... Levitate? Huh. Elevators are your only option. How do they get permission? Because it's, it's a historic site. How'd they get permission to get the elevators in there? That's... How, in, how indeed? If the, Well, if the historical society ordered them put in, then... Maybe because of the... the There's a whole stairs. bunch of, like... Mm -hmm. No, because, like... There's rules about historic sites. Th there's yeah. lots of rules about historic houses and, like, once you're yep. de designated historic, what you can do. Yep. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Why do I have to go first? It's your ghost. Okay, fine. It's not even real. What? Dude, re- What the hell was that? I don't know. Is someone here? No, lights off, doors locked, no cars outside. Okay, so... Do you want to go back? <laughs> Do you have your knife? Yeah. Okay. Wait, is the assumption that I'm going to stab someone? Is that the plan now? No, I mean, just in case. I mean, the basement door locked behind us. Oh, right. Crap. Gonna have to find another way out, too. Hold on, let me add that to the list. Map room, forbidden zone, find a way out. This is complicated. Crimes. Crime. It's Pride Month. BK do crimes. Mm-hmm. Greg is doing both. He's an icon. Well, May's by, so... That's true. Oh, hey. Possum Massacre. Oh, nice. You remember this, right? S sort of? Really cool. Just like the whole strike thing? And how other people joined them? And even when the bosses sent in soldiers, they were like all united and like could not give one shit. Yeah, it's the best history, dude. Still makes me, like, proud and angry. Bosses are bad, dude. This is a very pro-union game, and I approve. Bosses are bad. Indeed. Weird how we're all, all supposed to look up to, like, bosses. Just in general. Like, even bad ones. Yeah, I refuse. Extremely did I. This game is an extreme product of its time, and also I support its extreme pro union stance. I was about to say, product one of its time that has only gotten more relevant. There is exactly one exception to my pro union stance. Yes, we, we uh, agreed. Anyway, <laughs> I figure I know what it is. Well, yeah. 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 Okay, well, nothing weird. Oh, sorry, that's you. Sorry. Okay, well, nothing weird here. Educational, even. I feel like we're getting smarter. My brain is too huge as it is, dude. Gonna pop. If that happens, I'm leaving your headless corpse here. <laughs> That'll be so freaked out in the morning. Nice. Oh, Ronald, I'm gonna open this room for the day. Ah! 
I say, this chap's brain appears to have burst. Break them up, won't you, Ronald? They're having fun. Holy crap, is that elevator number four? How? Why? Granddad would be complaining about local tax dollars right now. Just a maze of elevators. Okay, Whoa. so I have a theory, which is that every elevator only goes to one floor. Anyway. Why would there have the two in the basement, then? Indeed. One to the, one to the lower basement, the other one to the first floor. Eh? Eh? Well, you'll see. I won't spoil anything, but go on. Okay. Ah! That is not cool. Maybe it's like someone left a phone here and that's, uh... Probably that. Probably. Probably. And I mean, I haven't checked your sound levels, but just in case it's it's quiet and difficult to hear, there's just been a lot of mysterious thumping noises. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Crimes. Crimes, dude. They really are the poster children for be gay do crimes. Yeah, no, like the first the first time I heard that expression was after I played this game, and I'm like, is that a Night in the Woods reference? <laughs> okay, do we go up or down? Up. Going up. That's convenient that we said the same thing because if we had simultaneously said different things, that I mean, would you would have had to like... rock paper scissors for it. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that's great. Elevator number five. Hmm. Locked. I think this is as high as we're going without picking some locks, so... Aw, oh, crap. You're kidding me. I dropped the lockpick stuff out back. You're kidding me. I was being attacked by an owl! Yeah, May, you dropped the flashlight. Okay. Sorry. Can you, like, improvise? Uh, I need some pliers. And... You got a paperclip? Uh, no. Who walking around on Earth today is carrying a paperclip? Nobody. So, like, okay. Just so I got this straight. Oh. Shoot. Map room, forbidden zone, find a way out, find pliers, find paperclip. I think that's it. This is so stupid! This is like work! This is all work! Did you hear that? Yeah. Didn't sound like a person. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay, well, let's hurry. Oh, hey, it's my neighborhood. And the highway. Oh, they found the map room, I guess. No ham panther, though. Must be old. Oh, wait. We're in the map room. Well, let's be extra careful. Okay. Crime. Crimes. There's the graveyard. And the building we're in right now. Ooh. Like we're being watched. <laughs> Hey, it's my neighborhood. Oh, there's a tiny you in there, I bet. Whoa, that's... Sorry, that made me look dizzy. I'm dangerous. Good old towny centery. Town center. The center of our town. Quite. Aw, I think that's the old food donkey. And the woods your ghost guy ran into? Yep. He sure gets around for a dead guy. Nah, he does. I feel like I'm the only one who's not in spooky lighting, so I'm gonna fix that. Oh, you're missing it. For the lamp. Oh, there's a train. But, you know, it was very important for the last 10 minutes of stream to make my stream extremely- to make my video slightly darker. I know how it goes. Anyway. <laughs> that 
creepy noise again. In this room. Ah, it's alive! Jeez, that thing's ugly. Well, this was the source of the noise, I guess. Mystery solved. Wait. No. If it was making if it was making that noise, then that means that someone was in here while we were walking around. Oh. Shit. Yeah, let's maybe go. No, we have to find stuff. Oh, stuff? Dude, we're going to get tasered or something by a big bulking um historical society employee. Whatever, I'm blaming you if this goes bad. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry, dude. Me too. I never turn you in. I'm no narc. Me either. Crimes. Right. Hey, check it out. Toolbox. Repair guy must have left that for the night halfway through fixing them. And hey, some pliers. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I was thinking we'd never find them and just, like, starve in here. There will be people here in the morning. Oh, right. So, we need a paperclip. I'm sure there's a paperclip somewhere in this place. They probably have, like, an office or something? Probably with, like, nine elevators in it. People go on weird ghost hunting adventures. And they're looking for, like, cool shit. Guess I found an ancient skeleton body last night? Yeah, dude. At least we haven't met anyone dead yet. Okay, well. Yeah, let's find a paperclip. Ride that chariot, Nancy. I had said donut wolf receipt before that, but. Sorry, I didn't see it. That's fine. Big ass stapler. Picture of a dang hound dog. One of those little hula girls. Not on a car dashboard, wild. Picture of some dang kids. Found one. All right, so we got the stuff. Let's get that elevator open and see what's upstairs. I'm gonna guess it's like 12 more elevators. So we are almost out of time, but we'll see where this gets us to. I just want to know why the elevator. That's that's why the biggest indeed. mystery. Going up. There are so many elevators. All right, we ready to go? Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna like break out of county jail someday with these skills. What are you going to jail for? What an obvious question. <laughs> or what a question with an obvious <laughs> answer. Probably something like this, honestly. The answer was crimes. Crimes, May. Crimes. Uh, dude. You need to hurry. What? Someone's coming. They're in the hallway downstairs. Crap. Okay, I'll have it done in... Oh god. Uh, dude? The elevator? Shit. Shit. Hurry! There, I got it. Go! No. What? Holy 
Holy shit, are we in the basement? Okay. Oh, hey, that's where that elevator goes? This elevator? Yeah, so... This doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe, like, this elevator is for loading things for the map room? And, like, they use the other one to avoid the stairs? But even then... Dude, none of this makes sense. It doesn't look like whatever that is is following us down here. Whatever? Not whoever? Whoever. Are you coming around on this ghost thing? Ghosts don't use elevators. Why? So a ghost can walk up the stairs or something? But elevators are out of the question? I... So the question I have is, where does that one go? Okay. Crimes? Crime. Okay, I just gotta pick this in the dark. <laughs> Jeez, sorry. It's cool, I'm... Shit. I'm gonna keep picking. You see if we can get out through the back. Stuck. Oh, sorry. Stuck. We are so screwed. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. It's locked. Something locked it. Someone. We can go back upstairs? Actually, no. We're just gonna get chased around in a circle. Like... Whatever it is. Whoever it is. Dude! And... Got it! We don't know where this is gonna go. Got any, got any better ideas? Dude, clearly I don't. Okay, not to a sub-basement. We have an elevator that goes from the basement to the attic with no stops in between what the actual crap quick let's find a way out we are like almost done if you guys are okay with going a couple minutes over we can do that yeah fine yeah I found, i'm compelled <laughs> i found a window i think there's a fire escape window doesn't open though I think there's not going to be anything else over here. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. What is this place? Forbidden Zone. Are they starting, like, a weird art museum? This is bad art. This is weird. It's art, dude. What the? No. This is familiar. How do I know this? Shit, dude. The elevator. Why do I know this painting? Dude, come on. Oh, dude, Greg, Greg just broke like the that? window. Elevator's coming back up. I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> Hurry! Is there like a cult situation going on, or...? Uh, there Maybe. may be a ghost situation going on. <laughs> Jeez, what was that? Mm-hmm. Greg! Where did you go? The step just ended. You gotta jump. Ow. You believe me now? I believe we almost got caught by a security guard or something. No, I'm telling you, I can like feel it. Okay, fine, ghost, ghost security guard. Sorry about all of this. You crashed your bike, got mauled by an owl, 
broke through a window, and jumped off a fire escape. I mean, that's pretty rad. <laughs> nah, dude, it wasn't nothing. You're a really good friend, Greg. <laughs> Crimes. Crimes. Oh, I want to know what was in that window. That was me, me. Stream guest, not May. Yeah. Well, May wants to know what was in that window too, but is scared about it. Now, May just drifted off for a second, so we'll see what ah. happens here. Dude, what's wrong? Uh, uh, dude, talk to me. Jeez, uh, my head. We need to talk to everyone tonight. Okay, okay, can you get on the bike? I think so. Okay, grab onto me and I'll get us home quick. What about the ghosts? Ain't no ghosts here. Let's go. Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have an idea of what's going on? Back to the first one. There's a ghost that's in my head. Like, the night after I saw the kidnapping. Or, I think it was a kidnapping. I had this dream I barely remember. Except for this sound. This horrible sound. And this feeling. And I keep hearing it whenever the ghost gets nearby. And it's like someone rips open a hole in my brain. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have sudden, like, sudden stress migraines. And you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out. I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of change of life changes recently. And I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I mean, I, May, I'm sure they care that you don't, like, get trip, trip and fall off a cliff in the woods in the dark. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, oh, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that. But you said it better. Aw, guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Thank you. For believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering around up there. Alone. At night. Close enough. Alright. Let's hunt some ghosts. That feels like a very good place to call it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, are we still going to get to do the one with Angus after this? I think so. Because this is a precursor to what happens last, I believe. So, hang on. No, I want to... Oh, hang on. No, let me save and quit. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Got it. Hooray! I did like Greg's cow listen for owls. Serious business now. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. He was so, just assaulted. Thank you for, for sticking around a little bit extra late. Uh, yeah. It was, it was like it was, five minutes. We're yes. fine. Yes. But I, it, was, it was a really good one. It was one of the ones I was looking forward to for a while. Uh, we are closing in on the end, as you can tell. So, Indeed. Uh, but yes. All right. So thank you very much, Hana Pengu. Thank you very much, Sophie Kicks. Thank you very much to anybody who's uh, who tuned in either now and was lurking or will watch it later on the VOD. Uh, and to all of you, I say good night out there, whatever you are. Okay.